welcome to another video and we're back once again in Smallcroft but this time we're going to try and show you as much of the mine as we possibly can obviously we can't show you everything we are going to do more videos on it but this one probably going to show you the main tourist features and beyond some of that so we're going to see some huge raises some massive stopes and some impressive one kilometer long flats so let's crack on when we do tours here. Uh, this unfortunately is the site of a tragedy in 1981. A group of 15 scouts came down here with one team leader at the front. Uh, and the story goes that the guy at the back, light went out, and tried to feel his way back out the mine. Unfortunately, these bars weren't in place at the time. Um, the poor guy ended up falling down there to his death. So, Always a bit of a sad start to my next one. There we go. We're not going to carry on. So here we've got the original horse level going off to the right and at the cross cut going off to the left. Uh, they did work this for a distance and then gave up. And then another company came along and continued it and found deposits so large they had to later build this cross cut. So we're going to quickly go that way and look at the horse swim chamber. Right ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the horse swim chamber. So, as far as I know, here, sort of centrally, would have been a horse swim. And that would have had ropes going around it, which the horses walked around the rim, pulling uh, kibbles, the remainder of one which is seen here up and down the shaft, which you can see here. This goes to what was a rather large sub-level. Uh, it's still quite deep. I don't know how far that goes. But there's a sub-level down there, which yeah, this chamber was used for raising the ore. Well, there you go, there's Gary Fiskin. Right, just a little further along, and uh, this is one of the little passages we have to come through. This, this Chamber is the trail, and you can see it's quite collapsed. And there's Gary, and there's Barry going through what is called the post box. It's not the tightest, but if you've never done this before, you might find it a little bit intimidating. But yeah, go for them, and there's a little crawl, and it opens up again. There's Gary coming through the crawl, and there we go. The next bit. So we're going. That's some fun down here. Okay, we're in a very solid drift here. The one the cross cut, and we're coming to our first oar hopper. So what you've got here is a wooden oar hopper. Don't touch these things because they can be very fragile. Sometimes your fingers can just go through them. As you can see, it's choked. It's full of rubbish, and uh, to the side. Well, it used to go up there, but since collapsed. You know, as you see rails up there going across this, what to us down here is a raise, what to people up there would have been a sump. So there we go. That is that. And just along here, we come into our first flat. And as you can see, it's quite large. So this space would have been where the body of ore, in this case lead, uh, was. You can see a flat to go off up there. Uh, this here actually leads to the main horse level, which connected small cloth to ramp going. You can see there's workings all over the place. Just blind Gary a second. <laughs> there's Gary up there. And there's Barry coming down the drift and we're steaming up as usual. So. Okay, just following that tunnel further along, and you come across the original horse level. It's quite pretty on here, definitely. You've got the stone arch in there, and the native rock here, and these are deads. And you can see these deads here are 
backfilled with grass. So this is original grass from maybe the 1800s. Uh, the idea here is a bit backfilled with the grass and that would improve airflow in the mine. Uh, there is a connection down there to uh, Lamp Gill, but we're not going to go that way today. I'm not sure how fresh that collapses. It is quite wonky. And if we go this way, this is the original horse level down the hill. And this also, we're not going down here today, but you can see it is quite wonky. So, yes, you have to be very careful in areas like this. And if we look into this arch, which used to go to another large part of workings, you can see that this is collapsed. Uh, little shale in there, so it's a shame because on the maps that is quite large back there. Okay, I'm now inside that hole at the top of the flat looking back and sort of gives you a sense of scale there with uh, Gary and Barry down the bottom. So we're now going to work our way through the flats here, which, yes, in total were over a kilometre long. Wow. Right, and there's Barry having a look in this stoke just to give you some sense of scale there. It's uh, quite large, isn't it? And it goes on and on and on. So there's lots to see and do around here, if you like your industrial history. This is the old one you found Yeah, this is a big flat. see of the original horse level we can actually SRT down there and have a look but not doing that today right in this section you can, I don't know if the camera's picking it up but you can see crystals of lead shining back at us uh, they're all over the place all right we're just coming through this cross cut and we're now back on to main horse level that's the direction we're going uh, but here's the continuation of the horse level we saw earlier and I'm not going to just show you around the corner there you go oh beautifully arched uh, two thirds arched amazing and the lines still in place down there so time for us to go that away we are walking through the main flats this goes on for ages but you do have the rail down here and our Gary lighting the way. But, uh, yes, we'll be doing this for a while before we get to the wheel flats. So we usually take a break before we start the infamous Hethington's Cross Crot Crawl, which is a hundred yard crawl. So there we go. Now we're just taking the uh, light junction, and this leads to a raise. Uh, you can SRT it. Although the rope is missing, oh there's the rope, there's a rope there, so it all would have come down here where the structure is protected and men would have come down this side where you can see the structure is. So there we go, this is a Gary for a little bit of scale. Right and yes Gary's just noticed uh, the blast holes are actually coming this way away from the shaft so it looks like they've come down and out unusual so maybe they had big workings up there and decided the easiest way to get it out was to join it the main workings down there does this continue that way there did it there is a little crawl space work to look like it
Right, just here we have in this arch an original air door. Somebody is very kindly written on it. Uh, something, something. Dawn, Dom, eighteen twenty-two. That's not original because that wasn't there before. I don't believe. Yeah, some people have graffitied it. Lovely. Uh, you can see the grass there as well. Uh, so as usual. This would have been staffed by uh, children who worked here 8 to 12 hours in the dark just opening and closing this door for miners as they came through. Right, we just come through uh, into another bit of flats and we found a uh, fresh collapse. I don't know how long this has been here but it wasn't here last time we came through. Uh, I know, it's actually a bit of the roof has actually come down onto the main horse level here. Wow, just shows you how dangerous what we do can be because if that well, bit hit you, <laughs> you'd definitely be dead. And just here is one of the main little features here. Uh, this rock that goes across in this big chamber. Uh, it used to be solid, but some plonker decided to try and take some ore out of the corner here. And this has resulted in a large crack running through it. So. Another place not to hang around these days. Right, we're just coming up to a little important bit of the mine because just down here we have taken off. Horseshoe prints. I don't know how well you can see them, but there's original club marks, horseshoe prints all along here, which is very nice. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a short while later, we are in the Wheel Flats, home of the legendary Wheel, wheel Flat. And unfortunately, once again, some buggers nicked the sign. Never know, I might come across it as we have before. But there we go. There is the legendary Wheel Flats. This is Hetherington's Crosscut, a uh, hundred yard, for some people it's a stoop, for some people it's a crawl, so I'm not going to film as we go through there because I just want to get it all with, so see you at the other end. Yeah. There you go, actually in the corn you see Gary making progress there. Fortunately I'm a short horse and I can mostly crouch through it, mostly. Right, once you come out of there you break into what is officially long cloth and there's there's Barry having just done the crawl. What do you reckon to that, Barry? It's awkward height. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't stoop when you do a crawl. Yeah. Well, I can stoop. I'm lucky. I'm the only one that can. Oh, yeah. group. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here, you've actually got full claws as well, so you've got to be careful of that. So, right, we shall proceed. Right, I always love this section. Uh, it looks like that entire rock is resting on the wood there. It isn't. I can guarantee that. But it's impressive, especially with the sulphur there as well. So there we go. Onwards and upwards. So we are through there, and we're now in a very old coffin level spot along the And you can see here the sulphur from these workings up above, just running down the rock. At some point, it's dry now, but it looks like it's been wet in the past, which is when all the sulphur formed but as you can see they dug this mostly by hand i believe uh can't see any shot marks and they didn't make it 
any wider than they needed to, so it's very narrow. Still great trail, sir, which is impressive. We've just come along the drift there, and here is a wooden oar hopper. And going up, you can see it goes all the way up there, and at the top there is a massive wall. Well, wow. incredible place. Now, I have no idea why this is, but I've always liked this section. Got the all the colours there, the rock going up in between the two bits. There's actually see that rock there between the two levels and down here is another level never been down there because I don't think I'd get back up unless I had ladders with us it's like 1859 there I've never seen that one before yeah 1859 always finding new stuff excellent Here's the hydraulic shaft and uh, how this worked is water is being pulled down this pipe along with the air from the collector box through the back. Then we go down there and just separate at the bottom, providing pressure for people down there. Now there is workings down there. And of course here we have the uh, bull room hunting chamber with the arching going along there, which is quite amazing. And if we go through here, we see the, the ballroom itself. Best we can light it anyway. <laughs> we need a big Gary torch. Ballroom. There it is. Ballroom. Ballroom. Very echoey. Very big. There's a meal held here in, I think it was 1911 or 1901. Beginning of the train. The dignitaries, and when they first got back in here in the 60s, or whatever it was, uh, there was still cutlery and stuff on the floor from that event. Amazing, eh? All right. <laughs> 